Yo, what's cracking, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Is This Reefing? This is a less of a tank update, but we'll we'll go through there. Thanks for everybody who commented and, and checked out the three-month update. Uh, luckily, no one's dead yet. That's cool. Just want to address that right out of the gate because I feel like that's just been a common theme. We're good here. Uh, this update is to address this. Also, I've also learned, I think I brought this up before, but if you throw some uh, egg crate on the top of your... Uh, tank you can apparently see your uh, light spread and where that hot spot is of that puck um i'm wondering where that dark spot is right there in the middle though i wonder if my puck is melting because it's maxed out that's another episode we've got our lid and i went with clearview lids and the reason i went with them is uh they had an out of the box you just click it and order it for my tank um i've seen comments and uh other things of people talking about <clears throat> hey, should this be my first tank? What do you guys think about it? And I guess I just want to address the fact that this is a Waterbox Marine 60.2. Shortly after, they created the Marine X 60.2. That is not this tank. Uh, the 60.2 has a overflow, glass overflow right here in the center. The returns are out of the center. The sump design is completely different. Uh, they have a... They have uh, filter socks. They have filter socks coming right there. They have a refugium section. I think they also have a skimmer section and the return. This one's really weird because this is basically an all-in-one. 60.2 is basically an all-in-one tank. It's got overflows in the back corners, which is the exact same in an all-in-one. There's just three holes drilled at the bottom for the return to a dual outlet, or basically it's a single, but one pipe for the return. Uh, emergency drain main drain and then literally one baffle an open space which was just literally meant to put a skimmer um, and then the water flows under through a canal and then over and then we got a built-in ato i think the ato still exists i think this over and under is different and i think there's different chambers here and you have filtration down there better sump design anyways moving on this episode is about the lid. Um, I'm sick of using this, and I might be using this for filtration down there, so I'm happy I still have this. Um, but because of this lid and not having one, I've lost two mandarins, which sucks. Um, and then I think I also lost a different fish, too. It just sucks. You always got to have a lid, and I've never purchased a legit lid because, man, when you pay like $200 for a lid, you're just getting fleeced, you know? But it had to happen. It's handmade. And uh, let's get into what exactly, uh, which one I got. All right. So here we go. I opened it up. It's kind of wrapped uh, in a cardboard lid. Uh, again, the reason I got this is because it, it should cover. Um, and I hit them up on Instagram and then they gave me their reply. And then I waffled for like a day or two. It just fed the tank. Just by the way, that's why it's looking crazy. Um, but... This should hopefully fit incredibly snug to the dimensions before the AIO. So this will be open. Um, I may actually like maybe I'll print like something to like cover that in the back. Um, but as of right now, I'm hoping it just fits. So I open it and the first thing you get when you get one of these clear view lids is hopefully I can just take this off here. Oh my God. Well, luckily I read it. Anyways, it says stop. Please read. Basically, what they want you to do is take it apart or take it out rather and then lay it on top of your tank before you take off uh, the protective film because uh, as you can tell, there's like some film over this. So before you go ahead and you take all this stuff off, make sure it fits. So I went with the Pisces XO. Um, and so this is built in a way like a jigsaw, as you can tell. Um, that technically, like if I were to get like a, a 24 by like 48 or something, I could technically order another one of these, uh, and it would link up. I think these kind of grow. I also paid for a feed door, which I think this is the feed door or it's just open here. Maybe it's on this side. It, let me get this out. Let me get it test fitted. Um, and then we can really get into this. Like I said, here's the protective film, right? And I ordered a, uh, cutout on the back left the center and the back right and i think this is an addition the feed door so this covers right here um i go this way i don't know if it matters but technically you should be able to just go like this uh put your food in drop it back down and now you got that covered there's mesh the whole way really nice construction like we're talking i mean look everything is this thick whatever that is like half inch half inch of pure 
pure just acrylic, I guess. Uh, I'm not the expert on there, but I will look it up. And these tabs are all the way around. So this should fit super flush to the inner diameter of the tank. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just really nice the way it's all kind of put together. Um, let's go ahead and get it on. All right, it's on the tank. So as you guys can tell, it's uh, it's fitted right here all the way. The clips fit over the edge. It's pretty seamless, you know. Do I think a goby will still find its way out of there? A hundred percent, it's gonna happen. But what are you gonna do, right? But as you can tell, it's really nice. Um, maybe we can see underneath. It looks like the the netting is like threaded in, um, and it looks really it's in there. Like it's a nice net. It fits real nice fits the edge this side looks like it dropped a little bit all right that's in um i paid the little extras so that i can have an opening back here which was for this reason right so i have one here um if i ever needed to put this in the middle i have an opening back here an opening back there and this is uh an optional feed door so i can pop this off feed my fish boom 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 throw this guy right back on there and done don't have to take the lid off anymore and we're good and then this is kind of like what i meant where i think you can just you can pull one of those you know what i mean and then just like when you're done uh it just goes right back down so i mean i'm super happy about this guys look at that it's super rimless again it's really nice and it's flat and you guys can tell the construction back here it's all jigsawed together so if you did need to make a change i think you can basically uh snap this off and you can get a new back piece or uh as you can tell it's right here so you can optionally get a feed door right here if you wanted or right here if you wanted i think you can probably hit up clear lids and be like hey uh i really would love a feed door on the left here um and they may or may not be able to just send you like your tank dimensions all the way here uh with a feed door so you could have a left one or a right one um and really customize it so that's why i got this one is because it's modular um obviously i got it with their new year deal um and this this took 45 days uh but to be honest they were very upfront everything i took everything for their word uh just on their website not talking to them just purely on their word pisces exo i think i'm naming that right with my additions that i added it gave you an estimated date and they were like look 45 days for production time and i was like all right but like three or four days i was talking to my friend and i was like i'm about to send that email not that i was even upset whatsoever because it was in within range and i didn't i mean these things take time it's handmade it's super quality they had legitimately my tank um i didn't have to give them any sort of dimensions or anything so happy about that um three days before the 45 day production time i had a shipping label and then it was here three days after that so i'm i'm juiced i cannot say anything bad about this um clearview lids knocked it out of the park i'm super excited about this um yeah um let me get this all kind of wrapped up and then we'll kind of maybe just wrap up this video this is really all it's really all i had for this one all right everyone this is uh, gonna be wrapped up here um i took off all of the um you know the clear plastic that goes on these and it for for a person that's taken a lot of like screen stuff off just kidding i don't do that mine stays on i wanted to take this off for here obviously but came off real easy it wasn't baked on there it wasn't like it didn't feel like this has been on there for uh, hundreds of years and i think some of you might know what i mean but uh everything peeled off super smooth this is beyond clear i'm really excited doesn't look like it's gonna re uh, hold back any light um that was one thing that i was worried about uh, with these lids but super open nothing obstructing um technically i think i've seen people put like a center beam here a rod um that that might have been an addition to keep this from from sagging but we'll see how that goes um i saw a video that some guy ordered one to have like a thing in the middle because he takes this off pretty often so he would pick this up from the middle kind of an oversight on my end i didn't didn't know that that was even an idea but you know it is what it is not that big of a deal guys i could always i could always I can always put a piece on my own and put in, I'm not going to touch it. Anyways, um, yeah, this looks really good. Lines up. A uh, huge shout out to Clearview. Um, excellent product. Legit shipped it on time. Very clear about how long things take. And it arrived. Just perfect. Can't, 
can't complain on this one. Not gonna lie. Um, again, move my torch way up top. Seems to be doing pretty happy today. Uh, moved a purple frog spawn also up top. Having a grand old time. Um, I've got uh, this guy, this little goby. Him and his uh, buddy made another mound over here. I got a fish out. I got a fish out one of my mushrooms, and then oh, they they spit back out my little uh, my green guy here. So those are all out, and I'm missing one mushroom, and I don't know where it is, but I gotta find it now. Conches aren't helping, but yeah, tank's doing great. Um, I have things over here to the left here gonna set up a water change situation i'm gonna do a full sump clean out coming up pretty soon i might make a video about why i'm doing it and the process uh but overall tank looks healthy tank looks happy uh for not paying attention to what you're doing you can really have a fish tank um i have a 10 gallon tank that i'm gonna put up here pretty shortly but uh, i might make a whole separate video about that so stay tuned for that but uh yeah Yesterday, I uh, I did a like a huge feeding with a uh, Brightwell Coral Blizzard or something like that. Really fed the entire tank. Um, that's also why I want to do another water change. It's just because I want to make sure that all that nutrients and everything is kind of pulled out. I'm going to do a big sump water change. And then with the leftover water, I think over the course of a week, I'm going to do like a two-gallon water swap until I'm out of water. Just to really try to change over as much water. Um, but anyways, guys, this is for the, the tank here, or for the lid. Uh, really excited about it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.